now. So here we are introducing the Hobie Passport 10.5. This was a new introduction into early 2019 within the kayak range. We're just going to take a quick look from the back, working our way forward. So we've got an easy adjustable rudder system here. So this internal fiberglass lacing rod travels up to the handle for steering. It's easily adjustable if you need to counterlever it. And also it twists and stows manually from the back of the boat. There is also a handle for lifting. We've got a wet cargo area with two inbuilt rod holders. There are scupper holes for carrying the wheels. The boat also comes with the standard Hobie cassette. So if you only want to paddle the kayak, you can install this in position of where the Mirage drive would normally go. So you're completely blanking off the bottom of the boat. Moving a bit further down, we've got a nice and comfy seat, which is very, very easy to install. You have two clips on the side for easy release and connection. Behind the seat then is a security strap or security bar to be able to lock and unlock the seat for easy installation. A little bit further forwards we've got the standard Hobie 8 inch twist and seal hatch which then you can put in either the Hobie bait bucket or alternatively the 8 inch deep gear bucket. Either side we've got the tracks which are inbuilt as standard onto the boat so if you are looking at moving over to having fishing equipment on board so either rod holders fish finders that is all accessible and easy to put on board the mirage drive is the v2 mirage drive so it's a nice simple easy cost effective drive you can alter the length from anywhere from a small child up to a tall adult just by pushing and changing the mirage drive length and also comes with the click and go system in the kayak as well. One of the other benefits and features that we've got is actually underneath the kayak, which is actually where a cutaway is built. So when you're actually coming into shore, you can push one foot away from you and the fins are completely hidden underneath the hull. Moving further forwards, there is the front cargo area. There is also a mast port here as well, or for other accessories. Then moving further forward even still, we had another handle. So the boat is 10 and a half feet long or just a little over three meters. It's about 34 inches wide, so you've got plenty of stability there. The available two colors are seagrass green and slate blue. We've got them both side by side here and you can see that they're both pretty striking colors. We've got one in the seagrass green, which we've set up just purely as a basic boat, just for recreational use. And then the slate blue one next door, we've actually pre-equipped with a, a few fishing accessories ready to go on the water.